used to be nervous, and then I saw the first three. I'm like, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> different boards. No board is better than the John Point board. <laughs> and I'm not saying that because I'm here. I'm saying that because this mission uh, intersects with my life. I at one time was one of these kids, okay? And now I'm a CEO of a company. And so these kids <laughs> And my friends Chuck Bowman and Amanda Wooden and Matt Garrett and all these people that serve with me on the board every day get to give hope to the people that are like, I don't have my GED. And I'm like, you get your GED, and one of these days, you may be the president of a company like Manor Roofing. And so, thank you guys for being here today. That was the work fuzzy, okay? That's what we should have said before when you guys were giving money. You can still do that. <laughs> and now it's just to make you laugh, and I feel I feel okay about it, but here's the deal. You guys have to laugh because I'm the fucking chair of the board. <laughs> <laughs> I, cannot, I, cannot, I cannot bomb. So here's and, and here's the other deal. I did not Google these jokes. My my next five minutes is my real life experience. So you will either laugh with me or you'll feel sorry for me, but it is what I'm saying. So I'm gonna talk about being single at 40 versus being single at 25, okay? So, I mean, being single isn't bad, but being single is better than being in a bad marriage, okay? So, I remember right before I got divorced, my ex-husband said, you know, we're talking, I'm like, you know, like it's not good. Things aren't good. And so I should try to spice things up. So I'm like, hey baby, what do you want for your anniversary? And he was like, a divorce. <laughs> and I was like, I wasn't really thinking I would spend that much, so do you have something else? That's fucking true. And then the other thing was, like, okay, this joke is, I mean, I didn't say this joke, but it's actually real now, which is, why are divorces so expensive? Anyone? Like, 
And so I'm like sitting there, and this really happened. Boyfriend at the front, crying father, crying mom, super sad. Two other girlfriends, consoling harder. How the fuck did I end up on the dating game at a funeral? <laughs> super happy, super happy. This did not happen to me, this happened to my best friend. When you are on a date, you know you're on a bad date when you're on a date and you have to argue with someone that the moon landing is real. <laughs> Just a Yankee, this happened to her. Heels, your pencil skirt on, you're feeling good about yourself. You walk in, he's like, eh. and he's like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm in these clothes because my dry cleaning tab is in my other BMW that's in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, guys, that really happened. I know it is not funny, but at the time you're like, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> at the shop, okay. Well, it was used to Okay. That's my question. So I have been forbidden from certain places, but they say you must date online, right? They say you must go on the apps. They is a total dumbass because being on these apps is terrible. You guys are terrible on the apps. Who here are single guys? Anyone? You're never gonna admit it now. <laughs> Starting a relationship off with a lie. No bueno. <laughs> it was terrible. 
I didn't immediately found my way out. Last, last. This is, I, if I have read one profile, I've read a hundred. No drama. I'm not into any drama. And I'm like, bitch, please. First of all, you are assuming that one, every female is looking for a good jealous range to get into, okay? <laughs> and second of all, have you not seen the crazy hot matrix? We are all at least slightly crazy. And two, you are too, asshole. Little Viagra, little Cialis, little Vitra, what do you 